hello welcome back um today i wanted to do a slightly different video it's still going to be sort of a sit down video at some point but i don't know about you but when i think about things that i want for the upcoming season um i'm going window shopping essentially today for pieces that i might want for the upcoming spring and summer seasons i really like to go in person just to touch and feel the materials understand like how things could sit structurally on my body all that kind of stuff so i thought it would be um interesting or at least better for me visually um to see the pieces that i'm considering in person first before you know i try to find a deal online and order it online um so yeah i thought i would take you with me um and film on my phone if i do try any of the things that i can find on and then we'll do a sit down once I come back. Um, hopefully it's interesting, it's it's slightly different, it's more vloggy style than the ones that I usually do. Um, but I'm really excited, I have a new uh, jacket on. I don't know if you can see, yeah. Yeah, it's a Tommy Hilfiger vest. I've been eyeing this vest for about months, I think I would say even June 2023, but it was always consistently around 10, 20% off down from 100 pounds so i thought it was a little bit too expensive for me to justify but now it's 50 pounds so 50 percent off so i thought that was pretty good and yeah i'm really happy with it it just sort of adds a layer um in the kind of warmer days in winter spring and summer i'm also going to wear my watch i i pretty much wear this every day um, I was gonna do a Cartier review video because I've had this for about a year and a half now So I thought it would be good to do a wear and tear video on it But that will come next week I'm itching to get out and see what I can what inspires me I guess in terms of the next season, but I'll definitely do the review video next week So stay tuned for that if you're interested and for perfume, I don't mean for this to turn into like a get ready with me or anything. I don't really have a science or anything, so don't <laughs> look to my channel for that. But for perfume, I've been wearing this uh, Bergamot 22 from La Labo. Yeah, Bergamot 22. I've had this since June 6th of 2021, so I don't actually even know if it's um still within date. It still smells incredible though, and I only have a little bit left. So maybe I need to top it up soon, but... Yeah, I just love it. It's just my everyday situation. So yeah. Hi, so it's the next day now and what I'm going to do is basically a video walkthrough, I guess, of my day yesterday. I had a really good day. I went to Shoreditch High Street and then Spitalfields Market and just went around the more boutique-y shops around that area. There's also a few kind of flagship stores for Reformation, APC, Toast. I'm going to use my phone because I took a lot of video clips and I'll put them on the side over here so you kind of have a, a reference of what I did and um, what I kind of want to purchase off the back of that. I had a really good day um, and then I went for a glass of wine with my friend afterwards. So yeah, really good day. First stop. So the first store that I went to was Reformation, a beautiful store. And the first thing that I saw there was this blue and um, sort of a bralette trim in ivory. Um, crop top tank top thing i am shopping for a engagement photo shoot that me and rory my fiance is going to do at some point i still don't know when it's quite expensive to get a photographer especially for engagement shoots but if you're kind of camera shy and camera awkward we don't have a lot of cute pictures together that i feel comfortable putting on an invite so i'm shopping for stuff for that as well so i do really like it but i just didn't try it on first of all because it didn't have my size and second of all i don't know if i want to go for a more casual look or a more kind of tailored and formal look so i tried on things that are a little bit more formal first and foremost the second thing I saw was a black sort of vest top and this one fit really really well. I tried it on as well and it's sort of a peplum shape so it peplums out a little bit to the side. This was quite expensive though at £168 so I'm going to wait on it a little bit to see if they go on sale. I'm not in a huge hurry for an engagement shoot yet so hopefully I can get some items on sale. This one's a strong contender especially pairing with the Citizens of Humanity jeans that I got. That's in my January favorites video. I think I just love those pairs of jeans and 
I just want to wear anything that kind of goes with it. And then the second one that's a bit more dressy and kind of more of a cocktail dress vibe was this one that is essentially the blue top that I just showed but in a midi dress version and it has a beautiful high slit as well that could maybe swing around in motion um, for the photo shoot. So I was also considering this one. This one's 298 pounds, so quite expensive. Again, I'm going to wait around for discounts. I'm definitely a discount shopper. But yeah, this one felt really, really nice. And the straps are quite elasticated. It's bouncy, so it doesn't constrain your chest area too much. And I thought that that could help a lot, especially if I'm trying to move around during the photo shoot. So a lot of beautiful pieces, a lot of knitwear still, which I'm not really looking for anymore, especially this side of the season. I'm looking more towards spring, summer. So there's still a lot of sale items at, at the moment for winter. So if you want to shop ahead for next seasons, definitely do so because I do think that a lot of the things that came out um, last season has longevity and the color palettes are very neutral and beautiful and the textures are amazing as well so definitely look at that if you're interested another thing that in reformation that caught my eye was the mesh ballet flats I understand that the ballet flat trend is still kind of hot and it has a lot of traction especially for 2024 I don't know how I feel about wearing just plain ballet flats I feel like especially with my legs being a bit shorter and me being bottom heavy I don't know if it makes me look like I'm a bit too serious and I wanted the ballet flats to feminize the slouchy jeans that I'm going to wear and I think the mesh ballet flats could be the answer to that so I'm definitely considering either this one from Reformation or, or another one from and other stories that I'll show in a bit but I love the hardware on the Reformation ones with the larger kind of rivets around the straps and everything I feel like it could grunge it up a little bit even though it's quite a feminine shoe so that's another option that I that caught my eye it's not necessarily on my wish list yet but it's sort of on my watch list it's something that I'm interested in and then before I finish Reformation I also saw another dress that I didn't try on again they didn't have my size and this dress is beautiful I just checked online as well and it comes in a black and also an ivory version which could be really good if you're looking for a more formal dress or um, a, a dress for an event night out this is very very reminiscent of Sophia Richie Grange's um, wedding night outfit so the wedding party outfit for post reception it's very Chanel-esque it has that beautiful rosette sort of in the center of the chest and the cap sleeves I think as well as really elevates the dress so I might actually go back and try that on um, and see how that compares to the other two and then I then nipped over to Toast. Toast, if you don't know, um, if you're not from the UK, I think it's a UK-based brand. It's very, very Japandi, very oversized, almost reminiscent of Margaret Howell if you're familiar with that brand tailored but chunky pieces and I love them for their menswear that I can then wear as unisex and this vest particularly caught my eye this was 178 pounds but I loved the construction of it the the more fair aisle weave I guess but it done in a more spring summer type of way and it's got chocolate brown trims around which as you know I love brown and I love blue um, brown and blue is basically my favorite color combination and I think that that could be a really great piece it is kind of pricey and I have something similar by I'm Leon Dor in sort of the same color scheme so I'm probably going to skip on that one but if you are interested especially in a sweater vest to wear on top of t-shirts and things like that for spring and summer that could be a top contender if you are close to a toast or toast online I think also ships worldwide construction of it is also quite thick um, but not scratchy in any way so that was really really beautiful and I loved that one another piece from toast was this cornflower blue um, blazer shacket situation with wooden buttons I loved the combination of the cornflower blue and the deep mahogany brown of the buttons I think it really makes it pop and it was just beautiful and it's in this corduroy um, construction and it's got drop sleeves so slightly more relaxed sleeves I didn't try this one on but I love utilitarian looking pockets as well I think it's a beautiful piece and especially if you are a shacket or shirt or blazer wearer this could be a top contender for you as noticed a lot of different shades of pastel-y cornflower blue. I mean, I'm wearing a, a variation of this right now um, and I just think it's a really refreshing color and it's slightly different to the pastel pinks and the ivories and things like that that you usually see in seasons past. I think it's a very refreshing color palette. Right, I'm back. Sorry, I noticed that I had my lamp on and it was quite orange so I turned it off and then turned the brightness up. Hopefully this is a little bit better for viewing um, the screenshot videos that I took. 
I did spot a Great Dane, a beautiful Great Dane as I came out of Toast. So I took a little video of that, that I'll pop in here. Um, and then I also stopped for a quick coffee. There's lots of lots of beautiful coffee shops. Went into a coffee shop called Jolene. Um, I'll pop a, a video on the screen here and they do amazing coffee. I just got a long black and then I stood, sat on the bench outside for a little bit and people watched. And it was just a very nice vibe and a beautiful environment to be in. Um, next to Jolene was actually a store called SCRT, maybe Skirt is how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. There was a huge line and I had a look online and it basically just opened a flagship store so a lot of people are going in and they were doing a sample sale. I didn't really want to queue up too long to get into the store because knowing my personality, if I lined up for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, I would be determined to buy something just because I spent time lining up, which is completely illogical, obviously, but yeah, to avoid that, I just avoided that shop altogether so that I don't tempt myself into doing that. <laughs> I went into a store called Sneakers and Stuff, essentially the Nike P6000s that I've been raving about since my January favorites video, I saw that in the window and then I had to pop in because there were so many different types of sneakers there. A lot of Nike Dunks, a lot of uh, high tops, Air Force Ones, really interesting color combinations as well that I feel like is more of a boutique um, streetwear style brands will maybe exclusively stock. So I definitely wanted to have a little look in there. I saw this Carhartt jacket that I loved. I love that kind of combination of a bone ivory color with a boxy cut and fit with a corduroy collar. I love, love, love this piece. Obviously it is quite thick. I think it might be quilt lined. So, you know, going into spring and summer, I kind of wanted to look for pieces that I can wear immediately, but that is still sort of at the back of my head, especially for fall winter, if that would be something that I'm interested in. The same vein, I'm also on the lookout for a crisp white hoodie. This makes kind of no sense if I just say it to anybody. I think I told my friend and she was like, why do you want a random hoodie? And But I just have this vision in my head with, you know, sneakers and jeans and a crisp white hoodie and then a nice little quilt jacket on top, which I'll get into later, but that's also on my list for shopping. Um, I just think that could be quite a clean, crisp and fresh spring and summer look. So yeah, I'm definitely, definitely on the lookout for a crisp white hoodie. I do have my eye on one from Anina Bing. It's beautiful and it's got sort of a Borg logo and it says Anina Bing but in Borg and in forest green color and I think it really pops against the crisp white. What I want to avoid is something that is just plain white so I did look on H&M and things like that. I want some sort of a graphic at the front just to cut up the stark whiteness of the hoodie but I want that general look. So that's on the lookout and the Anina Bing white hoodie is top of my list at the moment. Sneakers and stuff, uh, still continuing on within the store. A lot of Sambas, as I have mentioned, in really cool colorways. This one's in the forest green and cream. I love that one. I think I might have missed the boat a little bit on the Sambas, um, but I'm definitely still considering it, even though I did say that I didn't want to buy any more trainers this year. I also saw it in the chocolate brown, which is a beautiful shade with uh, mustard yellow stripes. I did see them online um, with a forest green stripe, so I'm kind of considering either or. And then I also saw a lot of Clark's Wallabies. Those were kind of in fashion in late 2022, beginning of 2023. They have dropped off a little bit, but I have seen them styled so many ways that have been so chic. So I love those, but I do have a pair of Clemens in a kind of mushroomy taupey color so i think i'm going to skip out on the clark wallabies and try to wear these kind of pair of boot looking styles with the ones that i already have and then last but not least in sneakers and stuff nike p6000s but in this amazing silver metallic colorway I love these and I kind of want them, but I'm going to sleep on them for now and see how much more wear I get out of the Nike P6000s that I already have myself out of them because I just, it's something in my head just makes me stop buying things in different colorways of the same style. Obviously they do look quite different, but I just want to have some sort of self-control, you know what I mean? And then next up, I went to Ada Shortish. This is a beautiful boutique shop, three stories high. There's a basement section with more workout and homeware. And then the main first floor area is women's wear and then men's wear is upstairs. I checked out all three levels and found some amazing things. There's also a coffee shop in there, um, but the, no toilets. 
one thing to bear in mind. Lots of sale items as well going on in there at the moment um, and really, really interesting sort of smaller brands and Scandinavian brands. Samso and Samso's in there. Um, there's one called Mads Copenhagen, which is also there. And I really, really loved that brand from the pieces that I've seen on um, so far in this store. So I'm definitely going to do some research about that online. This is one of the jumpers that I saw from Mads Norgard. Mads Norgard, yeah. And it's a beautiful chocolate brown again. I love brown again chocolate brown hem so on the collar line and also on the sleeves it was chocolate brown but what i've found really really interesting about this one specifically is the neon green rim at the very very bottom hemline of the jumper i think that's a really great way to incorporate a pop of color to an otherwise quite plain and neutral um piece knowing me oh i get kind of headachey if i wear something really really bright and i can just see it kind of radiating off of my body <laughs> but this is a really great way to incorporate neon colors love that one next up is the damson and madder gilet quilted jacket not a gilet it's a quilted jacket i have been eyeing this online and it was to be honest on my wish list to purchase in march for the spring summer season However, I did try this on and I struggled a little bit with the construction of the sleeves. It's just quite, it's not quite bat sleeved in a way that it can slouch too much, but it is very, very jolty and jut out a, quite a bit. I don't know how to explain it, but I'll, I'll show you in the video. It just, it sort of looked a little bit too stiff in the armpit area and then too much of a curve on the sleeve there. I did speak to my friend um, and she said that maybe I needed to go another size down. I tried on the size UK 12 and also the UK 10 and they were just I know that it's supposed to be boxy and oversized but it's a little bit too much for me and I kind of did wish that it was more cropped so that it could explain the sleeves a bit and also even that out proportionally as well but the only thing about this jacket is that I love the print and the pattern it's in this beautiful lush light green color on a sky blue with sort of more bandana looking um, trims around the collar and things like that as well i love 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 just the color combination of the jacket i do think that i want to go back and try it on again but for now it is off my wish list just because the sleeves it's difficult for me to get past really and then another piece that i saw from mads norgard um copenhagen was this beautiful stripey scarf in a taupey almost a toffee color and an ivory cream with again the neon trimming i really love that scarf and that's something that maybe i'll look out for in the fall and winter time if that's still in stock hopefully so that's ada shortage right and then after that i went to my friend's office um, for a quick loo break because i mentioned that ada shortage didn't have a toilet or not one that i could see at least and then i also went through brick lane um we are me and the friend that was working that day actually and our partners were going on a trip to nashville in june so we have been looking at a lot of nashville outfit inspiration so that is also something that i am shopping for um and she found this store online on instagram called hey cowboy so i popped in because it was close by in brick lane and there was a beautiful chocolate brown vintage car at the front of the shop and it was just amazing and then i stepped in and it's a very curated selection it was only me in there so i was chatting to the salesperson and i didn't feel like it was right for me to record too much about it um but yeah he was super super nice and very knowledgeable in terms of western wear and and what kind of color palettes to go for i did tell him that i wanted to get a pair of sort of more burgundy red cowboy boots for the national Nashville trip for our nights out line dancing and things like that and I tried on this pair which was a beautiful rich red merlot almost merlot color cowboy boot um, they're all vintage of course as well I thought I would mention that too with black patent leather trimming I would have bought it on the spot to be honest but it was way too big it was just flopping off my foot but yeah that one's beautiful so if you're close to a hey cowboy and a seven and a half is your size definitely go for it if you want cowboy boots and I think as well cowboy boots are still very much on trend and to me as well personally I think they're quite flattering on the foot so because they're they're traditionally v-shaped like this um at the front of the calves it elongates your legs quite a bit too so I think if I were to wear kind of mid-calf and high knee boots the v-shape and the cowboy silhouette is kind of what I would gravitate towards as well and then I went to rocket vintage within um, brick lane as well and this is where I think I have struck gold I made a beeline for the bags 
first of all because thrift shopping if i didn't have an, a specific thing in mind it really overwhelms me i don't i don't know what i'm looking at if i'm just running through racks and racks of stuff so usually when i go vintage shopping i will think oh okay i'm on the lookout for oversized sweaters and i would only look at the oversized sweaters rack have anything that i'm looking at i usually go for accessories so shoes and bags are easier for me to sort of visualize myself in so i went up made for made a beeline for the bags and this is when i spotted out of the corner of my eye a fabric louis vuitton speedy and i'm pretty sure it's authentic I, I did all the checks i went on ebay and looked at similar ones just to see you know hardware wise where the engraving and everything is and this one was 65 pounds so i just thought i have to just get it because i love a speedy as well and in this beautiful mauve um fabric beautiful and just wearing it i think it would be an amazing perfect spring summer bag especially with light colored denim white dresses trainers um sandals ballet flats everything so i already in my head had about 10 outfits that i could wear with this bag and just looking at it i also found a date code i found all of the hardware in the rivets had the louis vuitton engraving in the metal work which is similar to the speedy that i already own and maybe i could do a specific video on this after i do get it checked and everything is a how to spot authentic vintage uh designer goods maybe specifically louis vuitton i think louis vuitton is kind of my area of expertise because i've loved the brand for so so long and i own so many pieces from them luckily that i know what i'm looking for and i know how it should feel in my hand as well and this one the handles were soft and supple it had a made in france stamp at the side the date code matches with a made in france product and the zipper was the telltale sign for me that it was hopefully in my head i'm 90 percent sure that it's authentic it's just the way that the zipper feels there is no other feeling to a zipper in my mind than a louis vuitton one and it's very very distinctive it's almost a little bit tougher but buttery soft and then at the end it makes a clicking noise it goes i'll demonstrate uh, maybe i'll go get my bag right now one second Back and I'm running out of battery so I'll make this quick but this is the bag and I'm so happy with it and the handles are buttery soft the hardware matches everything that I've seen online and this is what I mean by the zipper it just feels and sounds exactly like and it just it, it's buttery and then it has almost a, an acceleration at the end where it goes like this so yeah i'm gonna do more research on this bag obviously but i am going to use it and you know you can see all the telltale signs where it's one piece of canvas so it's upside down on the other side it has made in france on the side which you can't see at the moment but i'll do a more in-depth video on this um after i've done more research on it but i'm just so excited about this find and then still in rocket vintage lots of cowboy boots again i think i would almost recommend going vintage because the calf width on the vintage or just more traditional cowboy boots are definitely wider so if you have wide caps like i do i do struggle with gani and paris texas and all of the more on trend they are quite tight on the calves last but not least i went to another stories in spitalfields market the boxy trench coats and boxy more military utilitarian outerwear is very very much on trend at the moment in the season i think and i saw one from another stories that was beautiful this aviator jacket with a kind of notch collar over here and big oversized pockets at the bottom very cropped almost a drop shoulder in an ivory cream color i love that one i do have to think about whether or not i can justify it especially if i'm getting a white hoodie as well i don't think i'll get too much wear out of this if i were to also purchase a quilted jacket which is higher on my list um, so maybe I'll give that one a little bit of a sleep for now, but I'll definitely keep an eye out for that. Lots of beautiful shoes as well in, and other stories. Um, another pair of ballet flats, this time with more hardware jutted all around the shoe. Beautiful piece as well, but I do think I prefer the um, Reformation ones just because it's a bit more, be more flattering for my foot shape and my leg shape. A hoodie that I saw was this Heather Gray one from and other stories as well i think it's a little bit too thick and cropped for my liking and the v i'm quite specific with the hoodies because i have a shorter neck i want it to be a bit lower maybe over here so that it doesn't cut me off too much and make me feel like i'm choking sometimes when i wear hoodies especially because the hood is quite heavy it drags it backwards a little but yeah this one is, was beautiful and it was 55 pounds i believe with drop shoulders as well so a really great piece if you don't suffer from these issues like i do i am still thinking about that bottega jody bag i really really need a way to justify it i guess maybe i'll look on the second hand market or 
treat myself for a big birthday or a big anniversary or something I'll see but yeah I love this one from and other stories it's a beautiful weave but it is quite thick the leather pieces that are being weaved is very very thick so it lends itself to be very very heavy as a bag so I'm going to give that one a pass but I love that silhouette and how it looked on the body right hopefully I have made it all in um, my camera's about to die and we are going out for dinner at Benny Hanna's hopefully that was a good roundup of the things that I saw in stores that caught my eye for the season upcoming and giving you a good idea of what I'm trying to add to my wardrobe and why and yeah if you have any questions in terms of shopping in London what pieces to look out for if we have similar styles and body shapes and interests and things like that do let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe I want to make a lot more content like this idea was very very fun for me to film so I definitely want to do more of that um, if you're interested as well amazing thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video Bye!